The question often comes up, can the ACMOD 3S be installed inside HF rigs such as this TS930S? The answer is yes. Now, you can turn your HF rig into a mean AM talking machine. The ACMOD 3S can be installed inside HF rigs such as this Kenwood TS930S. Installation does vary from transceiver to transceiver. Some are more complex than others, but you don't have to take this task upon yourself. We here at ACMOD will gladly install the ACMOD 3S in your favorite HF radio. See your HF rig perform an AM like you've never seen it before. Just send us your radio and we'll install the ACMOD 3S asymmetrical AM hi-fi modulator on your favorite HF rig. Now you can have the big AM sound coming out of your HF transceiver. Well, folks, I've been asked uh, many, many times if we can put the AC Mod 3S inside a HF rig, such as this classic uh, TS 930 multiband, multimode transceiver. And the answer is yes. And uh, we're going to show you today its performance. The audio line-in connector is the CW quarter inch jack in the back that's been modified and there you have it the AC Mod 3S on the 930S and we'll do a series of tests today to show you its performance from 160 meters to 10 meters. So yes, now you can turn your HF rig into a mean AM talking machine. So we'll start here at uh, 3885. On, uh, 3885, fundamental frequency 3885 in the spectrum. And should be looking at the actual RF carrier being modulated here and our envelope will see it here and our sig gen will be up there in Pro Tools so we'll key up the radio we have it set for a 2 watt dead key There's your modulation envelope. That's about 250% modulation right there. And your positive peaks, and just about 90, 92% on your negatives. There's your modulated RF carrier. Your frequency at 3.885. That's your spectrum analyzer. Fundamental frequency, 3885. No harmonics, no splatter, perfect signal. And here, we have the AC mod. Nicely set up. And I've been asked, uh, a lot of people ask me, how's the forward swing? Well, just as it relates to carrier to peak envelope power and percentage of modulation, 250% is about 11 times your dead key. And that's about 21 watts, so it's just about right. Uh, we have our 2 watt dead key and when we modulate we got 20 watts right there 2 watt carrier 250% modulation 20, 21 watts okay so there you have it
Now the asymmetry can be raised up up to 300% and beyond <clears throat> at this uh, carrier level. It varies a little bit from band to band, but uh, we'll take a look at 40 meters now. We're not gonna touch any of the adjustments on the AC mod. We're gonna leave it just like it's set. We're gonna go to uh, 40 meters now. Okay, we'll take a look at the 40 meter band. All right, so we'll transmit. We got our two watt dead key. And uh, we sent back the asymmetry to zero where we're gonna do 100% modulation. Let's start the sig gen. There's your 100% modulation. And now we're gonna raise up the asymmetry just a little bit. As you can see, here we go 200, 300. That's 100% modulation. That's uh, 8 watts, 2 times 8. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8. That's your 100% modulation. That's 250% modulation. And that is 300% modulation on your positive peaks, as you can see there. Back to 200 back to 100 so that's 40 meters we'll test it out now on uh, 20 meters okay so here we are on the 20 meter bands and we're gonna go ahead and transmit we got our 2 watt dead key we're gonna go ahead and start the sig gen there we're at a hundred percent modulation. Okay. One hundred percent modulation. We're gonna lift up the asymmetry just a little bit now. And we're gonna put it at two hundred percent. Two hundred percent modulation. Now we're up to about twelve watts PEP. Again, our fundamental frequency 14200 with its sidebands, no splatter. Now we're going to bring it up to 300%. And we're sitting at 22 watts PEP now. Okay, so there you have it. The AC Mod 3S on the 20 meter bands. I'm going to take off the tone. There's your 2 watt dead key. And there's your forward swing. Alright, we'll go and test it out now in the 15 meter bands. And here we are on 15 meters on 21250. And we're going to go ahead and transmit. There we have our two watt dead key. Go ahead and modulate now. That's about 100% modulation right there. That gives us our eight watts. Two times four is eight. Now we're gonna raise up the asymmetry a little bit. We're gonna bring it up to 200% modulation, and that's 300. Again, about 22 watts. As we lower the asymmetry back to 100% modulation, we got our 8 watts, 100%. As we go back up, back at 300 back down to 100 to 8 watts so there you have it the 
DC mod 3S so 15 meters and here we are in the 11 meter band and uh, we'll go ahead and start transmitting again and there's your 2 watt dead key reference the reference has been set there as well start the sig gen there you have your 100% modulation it's about your 8 watts and now we're going to race up the asymmetry and as we race the asymmetry we reach 200% that's about uh, 14 watts and we continue to race up the asymmetry we reach 300% modulation 20 some odd watts Two hundred, three hundred, on your positive peaks, your negative peaks still right where they're supposed to be. Okay. So there it is. That's three hundred percent modulation. That's two hundred. That's 100. So there you have it. A mean talking machine for the 11 meter band. Now you can use your HF rigs on AM. So here we are in the 11 meter band and uh, we're going to go ahead and start transmitting. And we're recording on the computer. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hello, audio test. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you have it. Your 2 watt dead key swinging to about 20 watts. Right there, the 9.30, and uh, we're recording live here on the computer. So that's what it sounds like, right there, on Hi-Fi Audio, right here, using the AC Mod 3S and the Kenwood TS 9.30. Right there, that's what it sounds like. All right, now we'll go ahead and uh, switch over to the 15 meter band and uh, show you what it sounds like right there. All right, here we are in 15 meters, 21,250. We'll go ahead and transmit. And we have our uh, two watt dead key, and it's gonna see we're swinging to about 20, 22 watts here, give or take. Uh, doing about 250% uh, modulation there on the scope. Uh, you can see what it sounds like right there coming out of the uh, Drake R8 receiver directly fed into the computer. There you go. Audio one, two, three, four. Hello, audio. Audio one, two, three, four. Oh yeah. 21250, the AC Mod 3S inside the Kenwood TS 430. I'm sorry, 930. We're gonna do the 430 real quick. Show you what that sounds like soon. All right, so there you have it. Real voice on a real radio, the TS-930. Okay, now we're here on the 20 meter band, 14-200. We'll go ahead and transmit it. And as you can see, we have our two watt dead key, about 20, 19 to 20 watts uh, PEP on the meter, and uh, our modulation envelope is seen here. We're doing about 250, almost 300% modulation on the positive peaks. So there you have it. Hi-Fi audio on 
14200. That's what it sounds like. Alright, now we're going to go uh, to 40 meters. Okay, so here we are on the 40 meter band, 7.200. And we're testing out the AC Mod 3S with the Kenwood TS930. And we're going to go ahead and transmit. And there you have a two watt dead key again, uh, swinging to about 18, 20 watts. Uh, do you one, two, three, four? Uh, do you one, two, three, four? As you can see, the modulation envelope again, uh, about 250, 250%, uh, slight peaks of 300 on the positive peaks. So that's what it sounds like right here on the 40 meter band. We'll move on to uh, 80 meters and show you what it sounds like on 80 meters. Um, the AC Mod 3S on the 80 meter band. Be right back. And here we are on 3885, 80 meters. And uh, we're going to have go ahead and transmit. And as you can see, you have a, a 2 watt dead key swinging to about uh, 20 watts PEP. And uh, on the modulation envelope, you can see we have positive peaks of about 250 to 300%. Uh, so that's what it sounds like uh, recording right out of the Drake R8 receiver uh, via the line in directly into the PC right there as we're recording. So there it is. That's what it sounds like. Uh, finally, everybody wanted to get the AC mod on uh, multiband HF radios, and uh, there you have it. And that's what it sounds like. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Audio uh, one, two. Oh yeah. Hi-fi on 80 meters. Lastly, we'll try it out here on the 160 meter band on 1.885. And we're going to go ahead and transmit. And you got about two watts of that key swinging to about uh, 18, 19 watts again of uh, your peak envelope power. And uh, the oscilloscope. Let's see. Uh, audio 1, 2, 3, 4. Hello, audio. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4. Still. Positive peaks of 300% modulation. Sounding nice, loud, and clear. There you go. The AC Mod 3S on 160 meters with the TS 930S.